Hello everyone. So in this episode today we are going to talk about uh, what is exactly stroke, what is paralysis and why this happens. So earlier we were talking about the, the cardinal features, the sign symptoms of stroke. You see stroke or paralysis happens because of sudden disruptions of blood supply to a particular region of the brain. The brain is not getting its blood supply, that is it is deprived of the oxygen supply, it is deprived of the glucose and other nutrients suddenly. So whenever there is a dis disruption so suddenly, the brain, the regions of the brain does not work and the symptoms comes like that weakness in your hands or legs and that's what happens in stroke or paralysis. You see, this sort of uh, disruptions, sudden blockage, can happen because of two things, two ways. Number one, maybe because of the clot, which is uh, blocking the blood supply to the part of the brain, suddenly happening, and the, the, and the part of the brain is not working, and the symptoms is coming. Or the blood vessels, the, the vessels which is supplying the brain suddenly ruptures. There is flooding of blood and uh, the part of the brain is not getting the blood supply. These are the two types of stroke. Okay, And the causes are quite different for both the things. And even the management, the treatment for both the things is quite different. Okay, So the causes of clot is different and the causes of blood vessel rupture causing bleeding maybe because of the weakness in the blood vessels itself, maybe because of the, there is very much thinning of blood, or maybe there is something, you know, ballooning of the artery, the wall is very weak, which is giving rise to, you know, sudden rupture. So these are the two things which can present like a stroke, like paralysis in weeks, or suddenly person become, you know, unresponsive, and where time is very, very crucial. And you should reach to a nearby stroke ready center as early as possible for treatment. So I will stop here today and then in coming episodes we will be talking about what is a stroke ready center, what are the treatment actually available and where is there any possibility where we can have a complete recovery or not. Thank you very much.